how to clean fuel injectors yourself. And I'm gonna show you how you can do this with a cheap and easy to use tool that's available worldwide. Let's get right to it. Obviously, you're gonna to have to remove your injectors from the car. Some cars are easy to remove the injectors from, others not so easy. So find yourself a video for your car and how to get your injectors out of your engine. Once you've got your injectors out, before you do anything else with them, give the injector ends a clean with some spray. And if you've got the time and you can, put all four or however many you've got injectors into a small container and fill the container with a small amount of cleaner such that the ends of the injector are submerged and leave them to soak for as long as you can, overnight if possible. This injector cleaning kit comes with two power leads, crocodile clips on one end, and a small and a large connector at the other end and it comes with two adapters no not four candles two adapters one is for larger injectors and one is for smaller injectors so i need the one for smaller injectors and i also need the lead with the smallest connector the adapter has a hole at the top end that you can fit the fuel rail end of the injector into and at the bottom end a very small hole that you can connect to the nozzle of a can of carburetor cleaner and when you press it down onto the nozzle it sprays carburetor cleaner up through the device and then out through the injector which of course you open by connecting to power so you will need access to a 12 volt battery simples it really it really is simples always put some petroleum jelly around the o-ring at the fuel rail end and then fit it into whichever of the two adapters it fits into best. It might be a tight fit, just go carefully. Now with the appropriate connector, put the connector into the electrical connection port of your injector and push it home. You shouldn't have to force it. These, in, these connectors are designed to go into any kind of injector. I suggest holding the assembly like that in your hand so that you can use your thumb and your arm to press the adapter down onto the can and you can use your, your forefinger to hold the injector into the adapter because the pressure from the can may well try to push the injector out. Test that you've got a good connection. That's the sound of the injector working when you connect and disconnect the power. The way I suggest to do it is to apply the power slightly before pressing down on the can so that the injector is open as soon as the pressure is applied and then release the adapter from the can just before you take the power off. It might be that that nozzle sticks up into the adapter and you might just have to drop the power lead and pull it off. It's very easy with a little practice, but you saw there how the injector was spraying out fuel and this one is actually quite good. Now I could see it, but it probably wasn't so obvious to you because I'm only filming at 30 frames per second. Within the first second of spraying through this dirty injector, that spray massively improved its atomization. Here's five stills over the first couple of seconds in particular. The gumming up and the dirtiness of the injector is very quickly cleaned out and the atomization of the spray becomes much, much better after four seconds. And here's a still of the same injector after 20 seconds of cleaning. 20 seconds of cleaning is about right. It'll get rid of most of the dirtiness and massively improve the atomization. Performed in four short bursts of five seconds at a time with a 10 second rest. Couple of top tips and points to note. When you connect up the connector, fit the connector in the best way round, whichever way it goes. Injectors are not polarity sensitive. Plus and minus can be connected either way around. Also, don't worry about holding the injector open continuously for up to about four or five seconds while you spray through it. If you hold the power on the injector for too long, after about 10 seconds, it will get too hot to hold on to. So you will have to let it go and let the power go. But don't worry, that will happen long, long before you burn out the injector itself. And here is that bonus test I promised you. Fit your injector or leave your injector fitted to the adapter, but without the power lead. Hold your injector firmly into the adapter. Press firmly down on your can, preferably a full can. You should not see any fuel coming out of the end. This injector is clearly a leaky injector. 
And just to demonstrate that this does work as a leak down test, if I put this injector on and press down, you will see there is no leakage coming from this injector. So this injector is fine. If you've been getting value from this video, here's a link to a playlist that I think will give you even more value. And I shall see you next time.